As a man thinks, so he is. Part two. Here's the word kemo. It is a form of the prefix of just a cough, but it's used separately, as, thus, and so, but it's translated more like as, like, as, and when. This is actually a pleonism, meaning the like of what? And we have the definition for pleonism, as this was a word I hadn't heard of before. It means the use of more words than are necessary to convey meaning. For an example, we would say, see with one's eyes. And it's used for emphasis. So, what we're seeing right here in this word is emphasizing a point. Mo is from ma or me. It's a primitive particle, properly interrogative, as in what, how, why, and when, but can also be used as an exclamation of what or how without the question. Or indefinitely what, including whatever and even relatively that which. It's often used with prefixes in various adverbial and conjunctive senses. <laughs> so, in these first two words, the ki and the kimo, we can actually see that they're used and we would glance over them as nothing words. But as we saw last time we got together, the ki had quite a punch to it. So does this word, and you'll see this next. It's interesting that the word ma, which is where we're getting the mo from, is the beginning of the name of the archangel Michael, which was Zinbi pronounced Machiel. And it carries the meaning, who is like God, Machiel. So in the first two words, ma and chi, is the making of who is like God, El, and Aleph Lamed that we've spoken many times about. So we have, in this case, the questions, how, what, why, and when are we becoming like God? Machi. The questions are then answered in the word itself. The cupped hand that grasps the revelation spoken from the mouth, the teachings of mother and father that bring forth revelation that will humble us so that one can connect to others. This sets us apart from those as we are in covenant from those who are not as teachers of light that teach the way of mother and father goading and urging other on, others on that have been filled up with revelation that gives power, means, and direction. As they went through the door that reveals what they lacked, showed them as being poor, and then gave them what was necessary to deliver them. You can see that this is determined by what we do. So questions, how? Well, through the teachings. What? Well, the teachings of the mother and father. And why? So we can be delivered from being poor, blind, naked, and as a beast. Actually, think of the Church of Laodicea from Revelation 3, verse 17. Because you say, I am rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing, and you do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. Then we have the question is when? Exactly. When you choose to do the work and enter in the teachings and then do them. leads us to the Mechav. With the Pesach, we understand that it is the place of intimacy for the one who is married. And we're speaking spiritually here. This word, however, Mechav, means to sur surround it, circular, close and near, and joined. Individually, let's look at the letters that uh, comprise the symbol we're looking at mother and father, the living water, that are their teachings so that you can compress light within you in the circle of time through that which was once hidden and now revealed, spoken and revealed in the world. This surrounds you, is circular, inculcation through their teachings, bringing you close and near, 
and it joins you with, well, in this case, the next word, sha'ar, as he thinks. It's interesting to note that this symbol, the makaf, when scripture is being sung, it is stating that the two words that are connected, the kemo and sha'ar, must be sung in one breath without having a break. Breath is also the meaning for the Hebrew word ruach, spirit, our spirit as well as the Holy Spirit. So this is connecting us spiritually through our spirit to the Holy Spirit connected without a break. As I see it through the letters, we have, well, I should say of the symbols, of the punctuation marks, we have one associated with the bride, the makaf, and the wife, the pasak. So, in this case, if we want to be the bride, then we must be aware as it is connected through our spirit to what we think. Here's an interpretation for you. It's not exhaustive, but can at least give you some information for the first two words that I think is quite astounding. The words ki and kimo. <clears throat> this is going to be long. The cupped hand that grasps the power found in the words spoken from the lips that bring forth revelation of becoming the part of the thousandfold family. The family who has been taught and then will teach. They've been yoked and tame, carrying the thousandfold Christ anointing. This vision, which is openly given, will provide you with the power, means, and direction if you go through the door presented by the teacher of life who has the staff of authority, who will urge and goad you on, bringing forth the revelation of the living water drawn up from a deep well, the living word, which is the teachings of mother and father. It is meant to be given to the poor man, the lean, the weak, the needy ones. These teachings will deliver you from your base nature so you can receive the mark of the Father's covenant and can be connected to others, doubly pierced as a humble and meek standing one who bends to the Father's will, ready for the responsibility of coupling. It is through the mouth that will speak the revelation to those who are becoming the wife as you should already be the bride now, as hedged in with thorns that pierce the place that surrounds and protects you, supports you as you have received your wedding band while you're compressing light in the circle of time by that which was once hidden now revealed that separates you from the rest. Who is likened then to the wife and the bride? How, what, why, when? The bride is one who has cupped her hand so she could grasp the revelation spoken from the mouth of the teacher, the teachings of mother and father that brought forth important revelation that humbled her, allowing her to connect to others spiritually and physically being bound firmly to the covenant, she was made well-rounded and plump, as this is what she dreamed of. She was set apart from those who are on the outside of the covenant as the bride and the wife and became a teacher of light, goading and urging others on, teaching the ways of mother and father. She was made full. Her fullness came about through the teachings by a teacher of light and she was given the power means and direction as she chose to go through the door that revealed all that she lacked showing her that she was once poor weak needy and thin and lean but found that which delivered her to become the wife height and depth and the bride breadth and wit Shalom, shalom.